Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. More of a cash, um, like, um, intro to today's video. Um, I haven't got a tripod or anything set up, but today we are going on a come shop with me on a different outlet centre. It's not Vista Village today, shock horror. Um, today we're going to London Designer Outlet, um, which is one I've been to a few times. It's in Wembley, if you do it new. And yeah, so it's not very big at all. It's not anything near the size of Bista Village. I can tell you that for free. Um, but I'm going with my mother today because I said to her, I've got this week off basically, and I said to her, do you want to go to Wembley? Because there's a few shops in Wembley she likes going to. She is on the hunt for a new pair of sketches. Um, and she likes going in the M&S outlet and stuff. So basically London designer outlet, I think designer is a bit of a stretch it's what these kind of like places call themselves like MacArthur Glen and things um but it's more like high street brands like you've got M&S outlet next outlet um you used to have a gap outlet RIP um and you have like June what else do you have like North Face Adidas Nike New Balance Puma stuff like that and then you've also got the highest end brands they have like Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger basically um, so yeah, we are going to go on a come shop with me around London Designer Outlet today. I'm not really on the lookout for anything, but sometimes some of the deals from the past have been a bit better than like in Bista, but we shall see. I am filming this intro after the fact I've been, but, um, sorry, you can see my mask hanging up in the corner there. I like, that's how I dry them. I put them on the, um, extractor hood and I just realised my um dehumidifiers on in the background so i probably should have turned that off but never mind let's without more fair without further ado let's get on into shopping around london designer outlet and if we have a haul at the end i will show you what i got so the actual outlet center is like a 10 15 minute walk from Wembley park station depending on how quick you walk and then here we are at the front of the designer outlet first went in sketches because my mum was looking for a pair um and they seem to range around the 47 pound mark for like some um then went into puma to have a look see what they got um they had a lot of different trainer options too for certain prices and price points um they had two for 60 on these ones. They're quite nice actually. They were like a moss green. And then the other ones were different prices like these were 49 for some simple white trainers. Um, and then they had lots of apparel as well. Next I went into Vans. I didn't film too much in here, but their trainers were 34, some of those. And I had quite a few options in there next went into new balance i do love some new balance trainers that used to be one of my favorite brands obviously they had some apparel at the beginning and then lots of different options they had quite a few options of trainers actually um as you can see a whole wall and then some bits on the side they had a gondola on the side um and they also had like a sale on sale section in this little rack here as well and kids trainers in there as well and then they had these ones which are similar to ones that are currently out at the moment for around the 50 pound mark so that is a bit of a discount next i went into converse they had gray high tops of 35 and gray low tops of 30 um black low tops of 30 and then these black high tops were 40 but they're not the classic quite the classic ones actually they're i'm not sure if the other they were black ones and ones i just showed you but next i went into mns outlet which my mum wanted to go into because she wanted some new jeans but didn't get any um the discounts weren't awful lot in here considering the prices aren't exactly that high to begin with um they had some rugby shirts though 20 pounds but i believe that was 29 originally so nine pounds saving some polo shirts as well 18 pounds for those um and they had a spring like kind of vibe section as well shorts in my favorite color of mint were 10 pounds and then they had some these remind me of michael portillo you know the person who does trains <laughs> uh trouser color and then shirts here for 20 pound which seems quite steep actually i didn't see what the original price was um of those and that was that polo shirt i think i was showing you again next i went into adidas which i'm i like the color of this it's like a teal but like a darker teal at 45 pound for that um and then 
saw this t-shirt which is kind of like a washed out vintage kind of vibe but obviously new at 20 pound a bit all saintsy but with adidas logo on it um i then um went into the trainer section to see what they had for trainers wise there's some casual ones here for 52 and then also stan smiths were also 52 in here as well next i went into tommy hilfiger which is one of my faves um quite a big airy store actually in here i didn't get too much because there was like a security guard near enough following me around um which was quite off-putting um so they had some nice bits in here from tommy jeans this was a 63 for that quarter zip and they had like a rugby style shirt in here as well next after that i went in calvin klein which is next door a lot of orange a la 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 orange orange is the new black so it seems um this t-shirt here was 28 with the logo on the front and then this one here which i seem to have multiple in multiple parts of the store was 21 um and then for a jumper or a sweatshirt even with the calvin klein logo on you are looking to pay 63 for that. Um, and then again, this t-shirt here with the logo on is at that price. Next, I went quick stop in Yankee Candle because I've got a Yankee Candle outlet. And this is how much prices were in there. They had additional money off, so around the £15 mark for a large jar. Went into the temporary night store because they're redoing the new one. Um, that colour of that, obviously one of my faves, £59. Um, there's some running stuff in here as well running t-shirts and stuff like that how much was this it was that price um and then like but some of the stuff also had an additional 30 percent off in terms of trainer wise you're looking at like 50 pounds for running trainers specifically and then in terms of casual trainers they had these type of ones these were around the 85 pound mark and then also these which give me a new balance kind of vibe as well and then i did have to of course stop in the lindor shop for lindor pick a mix as well so enjoy that so as i said in the intro there isn't can i hold it like that there isn't too much at london designer outlet really and some of the shops are empty um they used to have like a jack wills and stuff that is no longer there um i don't think jack wills even have any outlets anymore because of the takeover by mike ashley but nonetheless um and i didn't buy anything actually well, I've got one thing. Does it really count from Lint? Um, and I'll show you that they've got. A, that's probably the best shop at um, the shop, the London Designer Outlet is the Lint shop, and you can do pick a mix. Um, Lindor, which I know you can do in Sainsbury's these days, but my local Sainsbury's hasn't got it. Um, and in the Sainsbury's pick a mix, you don't get all the flavors. They used to do more flavors as well in the pick a mix, but. Like they used to have like a mango and like a citrus, but they don't seem to have those anymore. So I will show you what I got. It's really not that exciting. And Lindor Pick a Mix is fairly expensive. Like some of the stuff in there isn't really that discounted anyway. Um, but this, my mum also got a pack, um, like a like literally this much, and it came to like nine pounds or eight pounds, I think, because I think. If you, she had to go get one more um, Lindor and it um, made up, like, if you spent so many grams, you got a Lind, like, 10% off. So the lady said just put another Lindor in and then instead of £9, it'll be 8 or something like that. So I didn't get very many exciting flavours. I got two Easter bunnies, um, like the original milk chocolate. I got mint, uh, white, orange, and then the milk and white chocolate, which is like my fave. I think the orange, I think, is my fave as well. But yeah, but other than that, I did not buy anything else. I feel some of the deals are better at Vista Village, like Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, and Tommy. Those two stores at London Designer Outlet did not have like a sales section. Like, at Vista Village, those two stores have, you have the normal, like, reduced prices being at Vista Village, but then those two stores, at least, and most, a lot of the other stores at Vista have then a further reduced section, which those two didn't have at London Designer Outlet. North Face, they didn't have a lot of stock, like, the one at Vista is bigger for that. Um, 
New Balance is bigger at London Designer Outlet, but literally not very many good deals. When I've been to before for that, for New Balance there, it has had better deals, but today, not so much. Um, Nike and Adidas weren't really exciting. They don't have those at Bista, except Nike is over the road at Bista now in Bista. I think it's just called Bista Shopping Park. Um, is over the road, so it's not connected to Bista Village. Um, what else? Next was rubbish. m &S was rubbish. June was quite okay. Um, although some of the, like, boots in there were £79. I don't think I showed you anything in there but £79 instead of £115. And then Kurt Geiger um, was better. They had Chelsea boots in there for £49, but I didn't pick any up. Um, but yeah, other than that, Converse, actually the Converse, were cheaper in there because I've seen them a lot more expensive somewhere else. I was looking, I was trying to see if they had just a plain, you know, the original plain black pair, but they didn't have those. Um, they had the grey, and I think they had a cream. I do regret a few years ago, I did go in there and they had the um, JW Anderson collection in there, and I could have bought something, one of those shoes <laughs> from there, but one of those trainers even, but I didn't. Um, but other than that, it's pretty like I didn't, I only bought the lint stuff. So that's it. But tomorrow I am actually going to Bista Village. <laughs> this week has been very um, shopping heavy because I've got the whole week off. So I'm doing, going to places that I want to go to. And yeah, there's that. So tomorrow I'm going to go to Bista Village and I'm obviously going to film that. So I might buy some stuff there. Who knows? But yes, that was my London designer outlet. I was going to have a separate video for the haul, but I literally didn't buy anything. So that's obviously not needed. But yeah, let me know down below if you've been to London designer outlet. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm literally just holding my phone with my hand. Soz. Um, but let me know down below if you've been to London designer outlet and if you've got anything in there. I have been like probably five, six times now. Um, I do want to go over to the new, I say new, it's not that new anymore. The one is called Icon Outlet, I think, which is in the O2 over in Greenwich, um, which seems to have quite a few more shops. Um, again, I do use the term designer outlet quite loosely because it's not like Bista. It's not that type of level. It's more high street brands. So, yeah. But we shall see. I probably, I don't know, might go over there at some point. Not on the cards at the moment, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let me know down below your thoughts on that and if you've been. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe. We do a whole host more of these type of videos. As I said, I'm going to Bista tomorrow, so I will be filming a Bista the um obligatory is that the right word um bista village vlog um and getting my april one done and it is payday for me tomorrow as well so but i've got something else on the cards that i want to buy but yes thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're not already follow my instagram which are always linked down below and i shall see you in the next one bye